Hey there, Guitaraholics. Joel Powell West back. I know two videos in one week. What the hell, I go months with nothing? Yeah, that's the way it goes. This uh, was almost a second unboxing, but uh, to give you an idea of how excited I was for my little amp here, uh, when the PRS came earlier this week, I left it inside, went and helped my buddy Tyler. You met him on the channel a time or three. Uh, helped him with some uh, things around the house and then came back and did a somewhat sweaty unboxing. And uh, the review for that PRS is going to be coming up this weekend. Fingers crossed all things, you know, meh. Well, Guitarholics, what I have here is the brand new Positive Grid Mini well, Spark Mini Vi Edition. And uh, I pre-ordered, so this just came in uh, a day or two ago. And um, yeah, I couldn't wait to dig into it, particularly because at the top of the box, it said hand signed. Look at that. I was one of the lucky hundred to get the signed version of this amp. So Steve Vai had his hands on this amp. Mwah. Love it. Uh, there was a part of me that wanted to just put this in a glass case and never touch it. But it sounds so good, I cannot help but play this. Uh, this sounds amazing. I, I have a... Um, here we go. I've had this for quite a while, the Spark Go. And I love it. It's great. You can throw it in a bag. Uh, I'll take it on vacation with me. Um, we can pump some music through while I'm not playing guitar through it. It's been very, uh, very useful and very good tone. And you can't beat the portability, but it doesn't get all that loud. And the bass response um, is it, better than you would expect for something this big. But... Um, when you compare that to the sound from the Mini, uh, this is just kind of better in every aspect. Uh, except for size, this is slightly larger, although you can see, while it's not iPhone-sized like the Go, very portable and even comes with a very sturdy strap, which is great because that means I don't have to carry this by the signature. <laughs> I'm sorry, if I didn't make myself completely clear, I'm very excited I got a Steve Vai signed spark. That's awesome. But that's enough of me talking. You can see I've got my Jim Jr. I uh, I have not bought a full board Jim. Uh, I'm I'm leaning towards it now. I really shouldn't. I've got enough guitars. But how many guitars do you need, guitar hawks? One more. Always one more. So I'm just going to run through the tones really quickly. I mean. I'm sure that you have heard Steve Vai demoing this amp. Uh, in comparison, well, I mean, there's no comparison. There, I, mm -mm. Uh, the only way I could play something like uh, Teeth of the Hydra is if I just hooked up the Bluetooth and played it off of YouTube. No way in hell. I also don't have a quadruple neck monstrosity. So uh, if you haven't seen the video for that, go check it out. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, so there's not much Vi that I know and can play, so I'm just going to go off probably the most famous of his songs, uh, For the Love of God. So uh, here's the Fresh, which is the, uh, the clean tone. I have not changed any of the presets in this. Okay, I'm going to run through the presets here. I haven't, I haven't even hooked my phone up. I've just been enjoying the presets that uh, Mr. Vi put together for us. And I'm going to start with Fresh. And uh, I don't really know a lot of Steve Vai's stuff. And I, let, let's be perfectly honest, he is on a completely different level. I'm not going to try to get up there with him. Uh, I do know a little bit of For the Love of God. So I'm going to put this on the single coil setting and give you a little bit of uh, clean tone. <laughs>
sure. Uh, we'll, we'll go with that. Actually, the bridge pickup sounds a little closer to the recording since I think that was more of a sitar. Okay, so that's the fresh setting. And, um, man, uh, I gotta tell you, there's something kind of special about playing a Steve Vai signature guitar, even if it's a very cheap model. It's still a great guitar. Uh, if, you, if you haven't checked out a Jim Jr., these are a heck of a bargain. I think you can still pick these up for about 500 bucks. But uh, playing that through Steve I amp, he signed. I love it. <laughs> We're going from fresh to mild. And I really like the mild setting because you can really use your uh, volume knob to some good effect. So I am again going to start with the single coil, which is a little bit lower output and the mild will actually sound pretty clean. And when I switch over to one of the humbuckers, uh, it'll get a little bit uh, a little bit dirtier, but you can back off your um, volume knob and clean it up. It's, I think this would be a, a good way to add some like swelling gain within a uh, composition. So, you know. <laughs> humbucker and play a couple power chords to see how just how spicy mild can get <laughs> Let's go on up to hot. I do love that. It sort of feels like uh, my buddy Steve named all of these uh, presets after Taco Bell hot sauce packets. Um, I mean, who doesn't like Taco Bell? So all, of, all for that. All right. So this is the hot set. <laughs> with this, Mr. Vi, my apologies in advance. forget I did that. <laughs> okay, so we having fun, we go to fire. And I gotta tell you, first time I played this with the fire setting, um, I, I was blown away. Seriously. Uh, I came up with, like, none of these are stock presets anymore. This is all stuff that I put together. And um, my main amp is a PV6505. So found something that um, is kind of modeled after the 5150, which is, you know, right there in the same vein. 
I thought that was about as heavy as I could get. Guitarholics, this amp is legit. Um, I don't know how well this is coming through on uh, the, the phone here. I really should have hooked up the camera and did the whole thing. I was just very excited and couldn't wait to do this for you. Um, really quick on the specs, uh, it's very small. <laughs> it has two uh, two inch speakers that are kind of facing uh, a little wall eyed so it gives you kind of this wall of sound and uh, bass is handled through there we go this bass port on the bottom a uh, little woofer and heck that is just wild that you're getting this much sound and I mean okay I've only got it turned up less than 50%. Now this is really great for your bedroom jamming, you know, your uh, just your, your practice sessions when you want to turn up a little bit more than um, the go will uh, will let you. Or, you know, if you're jamming with somebody, uh, the go will keep up with an acoustic guitar. Um, this, uh, I mean, I wouldn't get in front of a full band. I don't think it would quite have that kind of gumption, but uh, it will certainly help with, you know, if you're jamming with a couple electric guitars, you know, you're, you're pretty good with, with this. Um, and you know, the same with both of them, they have a line out. You can hook it up to a bigger cabinet uh, if you uh, so desire. So I'm just gonna rock on this thing a little bit more. And, you know, uh, let me apologize for the PRS box. Uh, haven't. <laughs> they haven't picked up recycling yet, so uh, I have not cleared that out yet. But hey, um, I hope you uh, dig the video. Uh, if you get a chance to try one of these out, um, I would strongly recommend it. If you can pick one up, uh, I, I got this for a very reasonable price with the pre-order. They knocked 30 bucks or something off of it, I forget. Um, and Sorry, gotta show you again. Steve Vai signed my amp. <laughs> I'm just blown away. Hello. I'm stoked. I'm so, so happy with this. Okay, Guitar Holics, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, I love this little amp. I love that I got a signed one. I'm blown away. Uh, but uh, if you like what you saw, if you want to see some more with this amp, with this guitar, 
with any of the other 60 that this guitar holic has hidden back in there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fuck me. Okay, guitar holics, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I appreciate you hanging out with me and watching. Uh, if you can't tell, I absolutely love this little amp. I love that I got a signed one, so uh, maybe a little Steve Vai mojo will wear off on me. Um, obviously not yet, but maybe over time. So if you enjoyed your content, uh, I would appreciate it if you drop a like and uh, hit that subscribe button. Don't cost you nothing. And uh, I'll have a review of that uh, gorgeous PRS SE uh, Custom 24 out in the next couple of days. You saw the unboxing and just my initial um, excitement over it. I've had it for a few days, and uh, yeah, I'll do my more in-depth review coming up. So, guys, I appreciate you hanging out, and uh, as always, guitar holics, rock on!